Aloha, this is the Green Lighting Mr. T, and welcome to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It has been... I feel like this... God, is this... I don't know, It's this feels so long since I've played this game that I'm actually, like, not remembering it all. Like, I don't have it all... I don't have it all fresh in my head like I feel like I normally do for these Metroid games. But I probably remember things well enough to find everything. Well, I'm not even finding everything. This is another low percent run. I'm just, it's just, that's just what playing Metroid games has become for me. I just, <laughs> I like the extra challenge up front instead of doing it later. And if you want to find everything there is to find in this game, eh, just do it yourself. <laughs> yep, I'm here for the challenge run. So, of the three Metroid Prime games, I, I think this is the one that I usually consider my favorite of the series. Although, uh, not everyone agrees with that. There's, a uh, The fact that you have to, like, go through the same world twice can be off-putting to some people. Plus, some of the stuff can be really confusing. Eh, stuff like that. Some people don't, it's not some people's thing. So, uh, for me, we are going to be doing a low percent run. Um, I suppose, I probably should have figured out what the low percent was this time. I did it last time, I don't know it off the top of my head, I'll have it on screen. Heck, it'll probably even be in the playlist title. What percentage run this is but again we're not gonna grab any expansions we're only gonna get all the um sort of mandatory items i say mandatory with air quotes because with <laughs> people know how to break these games pretty well by this point let's uh let's just get head into the game and i <laughs> Everyone currently is all hyped up on the Metroid Prime remake. And <laughs> I'm not going to say that that has had an influence on me. It has, but <laughs> even before that, I've been really dying to get into this. I've just been so busy with college that I had to just put... I couldn't do extra, um, extra videos for my flick slot. However, it's the summer now. I'm finally getting back on track with my videos. Kinda. I'm kind of getting back on track. Either way, I'm ready for this. Whatever it is I'm getting myself into. This is going to be a fun playthrough. I'm definitely more worried about this playthrough than I was for Metroid Prime 1. I ended up only really getting stuck on the, like, final bosses? A little bit for Metroid Prime. Otherwise it wasn't too bad. We're going to have to deal with... What are they, what are they called? The Dark Realm? The Shadow Realm? <laughs> Dark... Other, yeah, they call it like dark, whatever the name of this place is. Man, I really, I am really lacking on knowledge here. I just don't. I can't even recall the name of the planet. It's split in two. It has just been that long since I've played this game.
Man, Metroid games are old now. <laughs> yep, these games are old now. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. Yep. Alright, I got it mostly taken care of. Once again, I am not gonna go nuts with scanning stuff. But oh boy, do I enjoy scanning stuff in these games. Okay, but for the purposes of making videos move on more smoothly, rather than just stay forever stuck in one area, scanning every last detail and reading myself for my own pleasure, uh, we're, we're gonna just move forward. Okay, like. Alright, these things I have to scan. Except I am not able to get through it. Am I going the wrong way? <laughs> what is happening? I'm supposed to go this way to the right. Alright. Man, I just I just don't have memories. I just don't have the, I just, I mean, I know the gist of what's going to happen. I just, the individual rooms and stuff, I'm not remembering well. Okay, it's tutorializing me. It's fine. God, I want to scan everything. This <laughs> is... It's a joy. The amount of lore put into these games and objects and details. What am I doing? What do I do? Nearby panel. Scan something. There. I know what I'm not doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But that's normal. Maybe it's not normal, actually. Normally I know what I'm doing in these Metro games. I am such a big Metro fan. What is this place? I don't recall anymore. I need to, like, after I'm done playing this game, I'm gonna have to just play through it again just to refresh my memory on it. Or maybe just watch some do a playthrough. I know Proton John's doing a playthrough of this. I'll probably watch his. Although, is he going to be scanning everything? I don't know. I need to do something. <laughs> this is a map. It looked very map-like. There we go. I got a map. I really hope the game does not go haywired with the hint system. Although, I saw in the options, it does have an option to turn the hint system off. I honestly wonder if the first game had that, and I just didn't look for it. I don't know. This game's definitely a lot more... Has definitely more option capabilities than the first game. It even has a multiplayer that I've actually technically never experienced, and I would love to experience at least once, or at least watch people do the multiplayer just so I know what it is. I honestly have no idea what they do in the multiplayer of this game, and I know I enjoyed the heck out of Hunters. Are there, there's like, are there, is there a ship on this planet? Yeah, this is the one with the ship, I think. Yeah, okay. I think the idea is like we were sent to investigate why these marines disappeared or something. And you have to like go and... You have to go into the logbook to get everything out of the scanning in this game. You can't just read the text of Pop the you have to open up the, the, the menu. Pretty sure. Oh boy.
Okay. Where and oh, that's one of those things. <laughs> what the heck do they do when Samus isn't around? <laughs> do they literally like just you know? In order to power this, they take an actual bomb and just like stick it in the there. Can, what happens if I scan this thing? What does it say? Oh man. Yeah. Ooh, this, yeah, I, see, I'm already not remembering stuff. I for, totally forgot this was the thing. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Well, I'm doing it now. Okay, well, that was a thing that happened. Very much don't know what I'm doing. It's perfectly fine. Okay. I remembered the map button. What did it even do? Did it open this thing? No, it activated. It made it so that I can activate the thing. It's not activated yet. Which side of the walls? It? It's on the other side. All right. Oh, I have the boost ball right away. That's right. You got everything. Scheme gives you everything, or mostly everything. Oh, there's even more of you guys. Is it me or does it take longer to char do a charge shot in this game? I know what's missing. The thing that shows you your charge, how fast you're charging. Is that a thing that, or am I just making that up? Oh wait, no, there it is, I see it. Okay, when you're targeting someone, you can see it. That's what's going on. Okay, too many boxes. Where, where, where's the way forward? These boxes hiding it? Kinda. Down the door. Time to get ripped up. I remember being, like, my first time seeing that because I'm being very confused at it because I technically hadn't ever, um, hundred percented Metroid Prime at that point, even though I thought I had. 
I had only ever gotten- I had, I had found every item, but I technically hadn't found every item on one fi file. And like, I had all these files that were like, on 98%, and I just never noticed. Or I, or I thought like, that the 98% was, you know, filled when I got the final scans by fa scanning the boss, but that's- That's your scan percentage, not your item percentage. They treat those differently in those games. The scans are just for uh, art. So I lost all my stuff. Ah, I don't even have bombs! Oh no! Did I missiles? Nope, I don't got that either. I can't just. Do I charge? I have charge! Alright, you didn't take charge away. Yeah, that, that's not working. I just go back now. <laughs> I was not expecting. I was expecting to have like. I I, I thought of like all the different bosses I'm going to be facing. I didn't really think about the environment and the fact that I don't remember for how well. Maybe it's fair to say that I remember the later parts of the game more than I do the early parts. I really don't know what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, they're... Surely I don't... I, I mean, I can't just go straight back. I... It's just It's a straight down drop. Surely I must go forward somehow. Where the heck am I? This way. I'm going back. These boxes get back here so fast. Oh my god. Just have to use the open one instead of the closed one. That's all it was. Okay, okay, watch. Might be. Nah, it's probably not any slower than it was in the previous game. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I found a save station. It's my first save of the, <laughs> of the game. And <laughs> I haven't died yet. Let's, let's look at that uh, that way. If I, if I had died at this point, I'd be so embarrassed. Haven't really fought any realistically difficult enemies. All these little these soldier zombies are all small fry. I think I remember this a little bit better now. At least this part. The outdoor section. Yep. Magically have a winch. <laughs> I suppose this, this was like, I like. I thought the, the idea is that the ship crash landed here. It's like all ships crash land once they go down here. So why do they just have random cranes all set up? So these are not the worker splinters, they're just normal splinters. I guess I don't remember the enemies very well either. This is all weird. Oh 
one, and it's not very often that I, like, don't remember a game well enough to, like, where it feels like I'm playing. It's a somewhat new experience again, so I guess I should just take what I've got and enjoy it. And I really mean that. Because I feel like I have a very good memory of the games. You can definitely like perfectly guide someone for like for Prime 1. And I feel like I'd still do a good job on 3, but this one I'm just not remembering. It baffles me. How, how deep in... I already know how deep into the game it's going to be until I get a, get the... hit the struggling point. I already know when I'm going to get there. It's everyone's favorite boss. Not even necessarily because the boss is difficult, but the environment is difficult. Power. Power? What's power? P? Portal! Right, portal. Portals are a thing. My gosh, portals are a thing. Right, you are not in any trouble. What's the deal here? Did I go to that door? Or... It's a door in the center, but that's got a... What the heck does T stand for? Boy, I don't <laughs> Unlike the first game where they just, just, oh, the key literally just, uh, you know, just spoils everything about all the stuff you're gonna find. This game, it, they're all question marks until you know what, actually know what they are. I think that's what the T is. But I don't know, like, what letter it means. Temple. I don't know. Translate. <laughs> Here, can I? Yeah, I can go get on this. No, I can't. I feel like the lost child playing this game. What is going on? Okay. Again, let's use this to get over to that door. That's what's going on. It broke. But it's not like it's hard to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Can you, like, crush yourself with that? <laughs> like, if, you know, shoot it and then walk under it, will it crush you? That count as a game over. Oh, everyone's favorite gate. The one that locks behind you never provides you the opportunity to undo it. Or at least I think so, right? Is that what happens? Like it locks behind you and then you can you just... It's forever locked? Or, no, 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 I think when to get like power bombs or something. Something, something lets you break it. And then it just stays broken forever. And then you finally have the shortcut. Denzim, yep, okay. There you go. Yeah, they eventually can be broken. And we'll be jumping up for joy when that day finally comes. Although, I suppose, like, it's for me, I'm I'm not... The backtracking is greatly reduced. Due to the fact that I'm not going for item expansions. So let's just go proceed from point A to point B until I've completed the game. Is this, is this planet called, like, it starts with an A? Aether? That's, that's no way it's, like, just called Aether, is it? It's too cheeky a name. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. 
why. Okay, you gotta get her first missile, well, missile, which is the missile, it just it calls it the missile launcher because it is your first missile. Or is it just a missile expansion? No idea. How we? Goodbye. <laughs> why did you just- what, Game, why did you just switch targets? Thank you. Like, literally, I'm holding the left button and it's like, suddenly, oh, you wanted, you wanted to shoot the guy that's, you know, not armed with a gun, right? Can I scan you from behind? Of course not. More lore. More lore. Yeah. Just leave it behind. Don't worry about it. Oh, of course. Alright. All right, here we are finally at the Federation ship thing. They got a whole cutscene, I think, because this guy's got a rec video quarter tape thing, VC. Oh, so there are space pirates on this planet. It is called Aether! Oh my god, I was right. Oh yeah, now I'm remembering the space pirates, okay. Yeah, I remember these environment that, like, the they hang around, but I couldn't remember that fact that it belonged to space pirates. Whoops. I'm missing out on all the lore here. The story of what happened to these marines, as foretold through logbooks. This is one thing we ever get from this getting all these games remastered it better be the frickin soundtrack being available <laughs> I was able to get a hold of Metroid Prime 1 <laughs> because in Japan they got uh, like combo Metroid Fusion and Metroid Prime soundtrack but then like you know how Nintendo is they don't <laughs> They don't sell their soundtracks online. <laughs> they aren't interested in making that kind of money. Again, though, I, I remember just I just remember this game being my favorite. So I'm. <laughs> I, and like one of the things I want to keep track of is like, how is the music that I don't remember? Another map? It's the same area though, why are we getting a second map? Do areas have multiple maps? I, I guess the, the tutorial area is considered its own little map. Weird. 
Whatever, though. Okay. That was a good pickup. Pretty sure, like, jumping on top of the ship gets you an item or something. Not that I need to worry about that. I just need to worry about getting over to the missile launcher, which is stuck in the ground or something? This thing? Is this the, where the missile expansion is? Or no, this is a kinetic orb cannon. I kind of forgot this was a thing in this game. Is there a neat travel idea for getting around the map? Hmm. Can't remember if the scanning the, the door like actually tell you how to open it. Nope, it doesn't. Well, I'm not gonna go bother scanning the other door then. But hang on a sec. I, I'm seriously supposed to get the missile launcher in this area. Where is it? I'm pretty sure... It's here? Well, I'm over here. I can scan it now. Nope, it tells you. But then the map isn't going to tell me. Yep, that's how that works, of course. It's like, you know, they couldn't uh, just... Add the details as they go along. You have to actually get the item first. What am I doing? I, I'm pretty sure I'm about. I'm supposed to pick up the missile launcher right now. God, just ignore it. Ignore it. I want to. I want to scan it all. <laughs> Rejuvenate my memory. Okay. Seriously, is it this? <sighs> That's, I guess I'm thinking of an expansion and not the... Yeah, this is the missile launcher. This is the original. This is the original one you're supposed to get. Okay. The one I'm thinking of is the expansion pack. One that you shoot the ground in order to get access to. Hi there. It's a dark splitter. Ooh, these guys take a lot of hits. Now that that's all done, I need missiles so I can actually open the door in this area. Please give me missiles back. This is kind of rude. Yep, that was rude. Oh, come on, give me, give me a refill. What the heck are the, all these boxes? Thank you. What the heck are all these supply boxes for if they don't have anything in them? Alright. How do I go up? I jump through the door. Okay. Probably going to leave things off here. Cause I I got my first upgrade. I just want to get back to the, where the, wherever the door is. Don't do it! Don't do it! I saw no. <laughs> I was actually fine. It's up to. <sighs> I was actually f perfectly fine. It. I was like. I saw in the cutscene, like, Sam is, like, starting to fall off the platform, so I tried to, like, compensate, and then I overcompensated. Alright. There we go. I did it. I got to the door. Thank you. Alright. Next time we will continue on forward. It's definitely gonna be a while before we get to the hard stuff, but it's... I know. At first, boss, where it's going to be hard. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Aloha.